morning. Uh, I guess I should look at the camera. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to, cl or to class and to Juice class and to the Tessie Juice Show. Um, my friend, Deuce, who is also a teacher at our yoga school, who is also a producer, he is going to be um, creating a Tessie Juice Show theme song. So stay tuned, y'all, because it's about to get real awesome in here. <laughs> I mean, the doves are beautiful in the background, but um, I think a little theme song, like a 15 second intro song is going to be amazing. I can't wait. He showed, he played me some, some parts of it last night that uh, we're, we're working it. We're working it out. So anyway, that's a cool announcement. Now let's get started. Let's get started with the show. We got a good one for you today. Y'all, um, today's ingredients are cilantro. And I'm gonna do a lot of cilantro. Like, I'm gonna juice all of this. Because I always, that's one bundle. I always buy cilantro for one drink. I use it once and then I, it ends up um, getting like bad before I can use it all. So, um, cause I don't really like cilantro that much. I prefer parsley like a million times more than cilantro, but um, I wanted to try it with pineapple. I wanted to try it in this drink with pineapple cause I think that would be, it's gonna be really tasty together. And after researching cilantro, like I need to eat more cilantro because it is, I need to juice it more and eat it more cause it is really good for you. Um, okay, so cilantro. Two limes, one cucumber, half of a fennel bulb, and then pineapple. Now, my pineapple, I already cut it up because pineapple takes me kind of a long time to cut up, so I cut it up yesterday for the show. Um, we're gonna juice the core of the pineapple, and then we're also gonna juice some more of the meat of the pineapple, too. I usually just juice the core. But this one, I want it to be very like pineapple-y flavor. So we're gonna use a lot of it. Okay, let's start and talk about the um, benefits of what we're juicing today. We're gonna use two limes because I wanted it to be a little bit tart. You know, um, pineapple is very sweet. So I wanted to mix up the flavor profile. I didn't want it to be too sweet. So limes, high in vitamin C high in antioxidants, they boost your immune health, which is what the vitamin C does, it's really, really good for your immune system. Um, and limes are also really good for your digestive health, which the more you juice, you'll realize that your digestive health can finally like get on track. You know, like that's super important with the health of your body is how your digestive and elimin and elimination system work. Um, very important. Sorry, I had to take my shoes off. I don't wear shoes in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, that's lime. Uh, and I'm moving a little slower today because I've been up since 4.40 because I taught the 6 a.m. class this morning. So I'm actually kind of liking this. Normally I'm like so super pumped up for the show, which I'm excited for the show today, but I'm a little bit more chilled out because I think it's because I've been up for a while and I've just had like time to, time to just be ready for you guys. It's not, it wasn't like a rush to like make everything happen like it normally is. Um, cucumber. Back to what I'm talking about. Cucumbers, super, super awesome vegetable to juice. 
um, really good because they are very alkalizing to your body and they're very hydrating. So especially if you live in a warm climate like I do, like I live in Texas, um, like cucumbers are so good to eat in the summer because they're cooling. They're high in vitamins A, C, K. They're high in um, magnesium, silicon, and potassium. Now the silicon is what's gonna be um, really, really good for your body. I mean, all of that stuff is really good for your body, but the silicon is really good for all of your joints. So if you tend to have like arthritis tendencies or just are really stiff all the time, um, eat more cucumbers, juice more cucumbers. Um, it's really, really good for you. Makes your joints more, um, more mobile. Cucumbers also cleanse, detox, and alleviate digestive problems. They're also good for healthy skin. They're a very just rejuvenating vegetable. They're gonna just bring your body back to where it needs to be if you're feeling depleted. And a lot of times I feel depleted because I sweat a lot with my job. So I tend to eat and juice a lot of cucumbers. All right, let's talk about fennel next. Fennel we used last week. I've been really into fennel lately. Um, it's kind of like one of those things that like, it's new in my life, so I'm like, I can't get enough of it <laughs> type of thing. So uh, we're doing fennel again today. It's so good. I can't believe it took me so long to juice fennel. Uh, fennel, good for digestion and good if you have anemia. It's very soothing on the stomach, which is what we were saying about um, limes as well. Good for your digestion. Uh, it's soothing on the stomach because it encourages more digestive juices in the stomach. Um, it's high in fiber and folate, which improves colon function. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> uh, the, there are phytochemicals in fennel that um, maintain joint health and they prevent rheumatoid arthritis. And they also speed up the healing of damaged muscles. So fennel is really good if you are an active person or if you were once active and are now sedentary and you're starting to hurt, fennel. It's also antibacterial and antifungal. It's high in vitamin C and it promotes healthy eyes. I like fennel, I like the taste of it. It tastes a little bit like black licorice, um, the anise flavor in it. So you have to kind of like that flavor, but it's not as overwhelming and powerful as you think it'd be. It's just a hint. So if you kind of like that flavor, you're gonna like fennel in the juice today. Okay, let's talk about pineapple. I eat a lot of pineapple. I really, really like to eat it. I don't juice it that often, and when I do juice it, it's usually just the core, but, um, but you can make some really tasty juices with pineapple. Um, pineapple originated in South America, and European explorers uh, named it after its resemblance to a pine cone. So I actually have another pineapple up here because that's how much I like it. Um, I've never really thought about how much it does look like a pine cone. It's just like a delicious, like juicy version of a pine cone. So um, pineapple is good. And it's not that hard to cut up. It's just a little bit time consuming. So maybe one day on the show, I'll, I'll show you guys how I cut it up. I'm, I'm pretty fast at it now. Um, Okay, so pineapple um, has antioxidants in it, and antioxidants fight off um, free radicals, which are the things that harm your cells, and when your cells get harmed, like things like cancer and stuff develop, so always want to keep your cells and your body healthy. Um, there's enzymes in pineapple that um, fight inflammation and disease. And there's also the enzyme bromelain, which aids in digestion as well. So all of this juice is gonna be really good for digestion. 
uh, it boosts your immunity and speeds up recovery from surgery. High in vitamin C and high in manganese. Manganese is one of those harder things to come by um, in foods. So, and what does manganese do? It aids in growth and maintaining a healthy metabolism. Pineapple is really, really good for you. Tastes really good, but it's also really good for you. Okay, now let's talk about cilantro. Um, cilantro is surprisingly good for you. It's, it was shocking how much stuff I found out about um, cilantro. Uh, cilantro's nickname is Chinese parsley. Because somebody asked me, um, Lindsay, you asked me if you could substitute parsley in this juice. Most definitely. But um, parsley and cilantro are very, very closely related that sometimes they're even like kind of mixed up. Usually when I buy uh, parsley at HEB, they always charge me for cilantro. I feel like nobody, I feel like cilantro is a little bit more popular than parsley. Go figure. I choose the thing that's least popular all the time. Um, also, another cool thing that I found out about cilantro, um, that cilantro is the tender, soft, green leaves and stems of the coriander plant. So you've probably used like powdered coriander in cooking, but I didn't know that cilantro comes from coriander seeds. That is so cool. I was like, because I kept like searching for cilantro juice and it kept popping up coriander. I was like, why does it keep giving me coriander results? Like I didn't type that in and then I was like, oh, they're the same thing. Cool. Okay, so let's talk about what cilantro does. Cilantro cleanses toxins and waste products from your body and bloodstream, mainly by working with the purifying functions of like your kidneys, liver, and lymph system. This is especially, all of this information is especially if you juice it. If you eat it, yes, but if you juice it like in high quantities like we are today, super powerful for all these things. Um, especially good at um, cleansing toxic metals from your body. And if you're probably thinking like, oh, I don't have that many toxic metals in my body, those accumulate pretty easily from stuff that we're all subject to, like environmental pollutants um, or contaminated food. You might not even realize that your food could be contaminated with heavy metals or um, like a contaminated water source. Uh, and this is why that's important to get heavy, heavy um, metals out of your body because harmful bacteria and viruses tend to hide out in the areas of the body that um, heavy metal deposits are concentrated. So especially right now, cilantro juice is key. Um, I, think, I thought that was wild. Cause it's like yeah you don't want heavy metals in your body but also like viruses and like bacteria live with those he heavy metals that's f-u-c-k-e-d up i can't say those words because my mom's watching <laughs> and because it's not polite anyways um cilantro juice is great it alleviates or um also another cool thing about cilantro is it has anxiety relieving benefits um, I mean, that's wild. By eating a plant, you can help release your anxiety. There's also like pain relieving attributes to cilantro as well. And um, it's, pot it's a potentially useful herb to add to the diet for Alzheimer's patients. So could help. And then the last thing I wanna say about um, cilantro is that Ayurvedically, it's a cooling food, it's a cooling herb. So um, for right now, like when it's starting to get really hot and humid, it's a good thing to, to eat or to juice like we're going to today because it reduces heat and associated conditions like sunburns, rashes, skin irritants. It also cleanses the blood and clears many liver related skin disorders like acne, psoriasis, or eczema. 
I mean, cilantro, man, like, I don't even really like it, but, like, after reading all that stuff, I'm like, shit, I'm going to start adding cilantro to more juices lately. I'm going to alternate. I'm going to buy parsley one week, cilantro another week. Okay. Let's take a look and see what comments we have. Oh, hi, Carla. Dr. P, Andromeda, hello. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Lacey. <laughs> yep, Mary Tyler Moore, that would be pretty cool, but we're gonna do a little bit more kind of like beats oriented, I think. Um, exactly, Lindsay. See, I told you like, cilantro is pretty astounding. I was shocked. I thought it'd have a few cool things, but no, there's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff with cilantro. Okay, let's do limes. Let's squeeze the limes. Let's hope that two limes isn't too much for this juice. Um, I don't think it will be, but I feel like I can't really overdo it with um, citrus. However, I don't have the same taste buds as everyone else. So if you're not a huge fan of tart or if you're new to juicing, I would say stick to one lime with this one or half of a lime. Might be, two might be a little bit, might be a little much. And I hope you guys enjoy my outfit today. It's a little bit couchy. <laughs> it, looks, it looks a little bit like a couch I had, my family had um, in the 90s. That's okay, because I love floral print and I love matching sets. <laughs> so that's, that's fun. That's probably one of my most favorite things besides deciding like what to put in the juice. One of my most favorite things is to prepare for the juice show is deciding what I'm gonna wear. Sometimes I try to like match the juice. Other times I like to just wear weird shit that I um, haven't got to wear out in a while because I don't really go out. I don't really go out at all, but like especially now that all of this, that the world is weird, like I'm not really, I just go to yoga and that's about it. So I don't wear like clothes like this to yoga. So it's nice to wear something fun. Oh, and that's another funny thing is whenever I teach that 6 a.m. class, I get up at 4.40 and um, the outfits that I choose to go to the studio at four, at well, five o'clock by that time when I'm getting dressed are always unique very interesting. I chose this this morning and I wasn't going to wear it to the show, but then I was like, no, I love this little like set. Why, why would I not wear it to the show? So there we go. It's always like something I haven't worn in a long time that I'll, that I'll choose to wear to the studio <laughs> at that early in the morning. Nothing makes sense. It was kind of fun to like see what I like came up with. Anyway, I just thought of this story. My mom told me that um, I went through this phase when I was little where I would like change my clothes like a few times a day, like four or five times a day. Like she would put me in like pants or something and then I would go into my room and go change into a dress or vice versa, you know? I've always liked clothes, even since I was little. I think probably because all my grandmas were really into like looking nice and stuff. So, you know, apple doesn't far, fall far from the tree. All right. Speaking of grandmas, another little trivia tidbit about me while I'm still squeezing these lines is that both of my grandma's first names were Dolores. I, thought that, I think that's just so bizarre that both of my grandma's names were Dolores. Wild. The crowd goes crazy. 
There's no crowd. No crowd in here. Just me. Me and the doves. Okay. There we go. Putting the lime juice in there. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty easy to juice because I've already cut up the pineapple. And um, cilantro will run through the machine pretty easily. So it's not gonna, this one's not gonna take too long, which is cool. Fennel. The only thing it's gonna struggle with a little bit is the fennel. This fennel is like very sturdy. Okay, let's do this. This is the core of the pineapple. We're gonna juice that first and see how much juice we have. And then um, we'll go from there. Take a drink of my coffee. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, I have a new piece of art from my friend Victoria. She's a student at our school and she's a screen printer and she makes these really cool, and she makes a lot of really cool stuff, but she just brought in a bunch of cool prints. And this has like a beet on it, a cactus, a um, carrot, and some potatoes and peas and tomato. So I thought it was really cool and I bought one for my kitchen and I made it part of the set now. Moving up. Okay, let's do it. Let's do cilantro first. So we got a lot of cilantro to juice. One thing that I like to try to decide for the show, I have to, I can only decide the morning up, is what color of lipstick I'm going to wear. Um, you probably don't even realize that I wear a different lipstick, but I have a pink, like a hot pink one, and this one that I really like, this red one that I like. So, you know, vote, vote in the comments, what's your favorite lipstick?
researching, it says if you have sensitive uh, digestive like issues, just be kind of careful with cilantro. It might upset your stomach a little bit. So maybe don't do as much as I'm doing. Maybe do like half. break for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Carla, this does look like a tablecloth. I agree. Oh, thank you, Adromedus. I couldn't decide how to do my hair today, so I went up into a ponytail. expecting it to be this green but I also plus I mean it's like duh there, we use a ton of cilantro Ooh, I can smell it I can smell that cilantro yum but we still have lots more fennel cucumber and pineapple to juice so this isn't probably gonna be as green as the final product but I've been wrong before I always like to guess what color it's gonna be all right, let's go back in. Whoa, it's like neon.
they're cherry combos. They're like cherry and plums together. I haven't tried them yet. Part cherry, part plum. I'm excited. This juice is much lighter, so it's going to lighten up the overall color a little bit, but it'll probably still be pretty green, pretty dark green. Now, remember how good cilantro is for you. So if you don't love the taste of cilantro, this juice might be a little bit diff difficult to drink, but the benefits outweigh it. Oh yeah. Pineapple always makes a lot of foam. So I don't necessarily dislike drinking the foam, but it's a little bit harder to drink sometimes because it'll like get on your face, but um, it's not the end of the world. The color is awesome. It's almost the color of, well, actually no, not quite. Okay. Cheers. Hmm. Like I got juice on my face. <laughs> um. first tasted it, I was like, oh, <laughs> like I didn't like it. But that was just the foam. And then I started drinking the actual juice, like when the actual juice broke through the foam. And I like it. It is very, it tastes a lot like cilantro. Duh. I mean, we use a ton of cilantro. And cilantro's taste isn't my favorite, but... The pineapple is nice in there. The, the two limes were, was a good idea because I taste that lime taste like I want to taste it. Um, I don't taste the fennel at all. I don't taste the cucumber at all. But that's kind of typical with cucumber. But fennel, I'm surprised I don't taste it very much. Like a little bit, a little bit in the aftertaste. I can kind of taste like it's almost tingly on my tongue. Huh. You know what? Overall, it's good. And I've been feeling really hot lately, so I feel like I need a drink like this. I need a very cooling, I need the cooling effects of cilantro. So, that's a win. That's a win, folks. I'm into it. Um, great. Get curious about what you're putting into your body. You know, you can... Food can be medicine or it can be poison. Um, and if you're, if you have something wrong with your body, uh, start researching it and start researching like what you need to add into your diet. And most likely you can get it with juice. I mean, we talk about the benefits of juicing every show, you know, and certain conditions that a lot of people suffer from that can be fixed with juicing so I highly recommend juicing and not just for physical 
benefits, but also for mental benefits too. It's a nice way to add something healthy into your routine. It takes some time, yes, but um, you're worth it. You need to spend time on yourself. All right, that's all of the Tessie Jew show I have for you today. I'm gonna check the comments one more time and let you peek out my back window. Cheers. <laughs> nope, I don't taste the lipstick. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Cilantro is good on top of tacos. I really like it. Um, okay. All right, y'all. Peace out.